here we are again, Medina County, Texas, GMRS, testing out this little Redivus handheld radio. It is the RB17P. Uh, don't know how they came up with that model number, but uh, we're going to look at this today. I want to start out by saying, <clears throat> had a lot of comments here lately, but why aren't you testing the Motorola's? Why aren't you testing commercial grade radios? So, my whole intent is... These are relatively inexpensive. A lot of the radios that we're testing here are, and I just want to try to keep it budget friendly, right? You can get a pair of these for 70 bucks or so. So that's kind of the purpose. So that's why we're reviewing these. Let's get started. We'll take you over to the table and get a closer look. All right, well, here it is, the Redivus RB17P. We got a set of these for about 80 bucks, paid for it with my own money. Um, I wanted to look at these radios for a couple of reasons. Number one, they looked small, they looked compact, but they didn't have a bunch of keys. And I know that, uh, you know, in, in my local group, um, for some of the guys, they want simplicity, right? They they don't want to have to mess with with all of the the buttons. This is a dual monitor radio. You got a top and a bottom. You do have to toggle to transmit uh, on one of the other channels. These are GMRS radios. They come pre-programmed with all the GMRS frequencies um, already in them. Uh, has a NOAA weather feature, which we'll talk more about in a minute. They're advertised at 5 watts. We'll check it here in a little bit to see if that's what it's getting. Um, but just kind of, uh, you know, something simple and not very expensive that folks could easily get on the uh, Medina County uh, repeater or the Dunley repeater if, if they wanted to. Um, out of the box, they, they come, the antenna's on. They come with an instruction manual. I, 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 I will kind of knock rid of this a little bit right off the bat. Um, you get literally a third of a page, a whole page, and maybe two thirds of a page. So you get about two pages of instructions and it's not very detailed. Um, and, and let me explain the NOAA function, for instance, um, I set up this programmable key to go instantly to NOAA. So you press it. And I've got it over here under this equipment so it's not receiving very well. Plus we're in the shack. But I, that's one of the NOAA features. There is a NOAA monitor feature. But no indication on how to turn it on. About a week or two ago while testing this radio, we had some some severe weather that was supposed to be rolling in later that night. This radio was sitting on the on the counter and at some point I walked by it and the LED was flashing green. When I turned the screen on, there was a little cloud with Noah underneath it that was flashing. And I knew about five minutes before on the NOAA weather radio in the office that we had gotten a, a severe storm alert. But I don't know how to turn that feature on and off on here. Once again, the, the instructions, the two small pages of instructions simply tell you when the NOAA watch function is enabled in both NOAA and channel mode, you need to receive... Uh, 1050 hertz signaling to enable NOAA reception. Otherwise, you cannot switch to NOAA mode. I don't know what that means, and 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 I say that because some of some of the local guys here that that might buy these radios, they would love that feature, but there's no direction on how to turn it on. And I I try to put myself in the mindset when I test any of these radios of just an average Joe. Uh, you know, I'm going to read the directions. I'm going to try to figure it out myself. And I try not to, to rely on YouTube uh, until the review's over to see how easy or hard it really was. So I know the NOAA monitor feature's there, but we just don't know how to use it. So 
a little little disappointed in the in the directions. Um, as with most Redivis radios, there's a set screw that holds the antenna down. Uh, and with most Redivis radios, and that's a that's a 1.5 uh, Allen wrench to, to 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 loosen that. The antenna is the male, not the female. So um, I will say this radio receives very well. We're going to do some uh, range tests with it here in a minute. But as far as reception, um, <laughs> other than that NOAA channel you just heard, if I bring it away from all this clutter, let me, I know you can't see it, but. San Antonio Cloudy 72. Kerrville Cloudy 69. Fredericksburg Cloudy 70. So it, it receives very well. I can actually receive the uh, the big repeater in San Antonio, Bullis, I can receive it on this radio just setting up here on the shelf, whereas I can't receive it as well with the uh, this antenna, right? So um, the antennas are not bad. I do not see a, a point in needing to change it after being able to receive what I've received on it. And once again, we'll do some transmission tests in a minute just so you can take a look. Um, this radio, like I said, comes programmed with all the GMRS channels, but it has all the funky, nonsense, make no sense uh, tones set to the channels. So the two radios will talk to each other, but you're going to have a hell of a time transmitting with somebody else unless you can go in, you know how to go in, and take those tones off or add the ones you need. So, kind of disappointed in that as well, um, but it can be fixed. Another known issue with this radio is the fact if you want to program your own channels, there is a channel 17 bug that does not allow you to program a name on channel 17. So, let's see. I'm going to scroll through. And you got to click them one at a time, right? Let me go to channel 17. Let's see if you can see. 16, 17. No name, right? So, it won't let you name it. So, on certain radios, on certain radios, there's a step-by-step -step instructions for using Chirp to correct the channel 17 bug. I do not recommend programming these radios via Chirp. Uh, Redivus has their own software. I'll, I'll put these in the, in the description below. Uh, they have their own software. These steps would not allow me to open up channel 17 to put a name in there. So it's just going to be no name channel 17. Um, and I believe it depends on the version of radio you have the software uh, that it's uh, that it's using determines whether these steps will work is it that big of a deal no um, but Redivis always seems to have some little bug like on the RB25 mobile unit that is in my uh, Explorer it always reverts from narrow band back to wide band even though I've programmed it a million times it will not stick in in narrow um, and I just read of us I just wish read of us would fix some of these things before uh, releasing the product um, I gave this radio to my dad to use the other night when we had the we were doing some radio tests and um, he liked it uh, he he liked the fact that it was small not a long whippy antenna uh, he liked the the uh, programmable key on the side, which, like I said, I have programmed to NOAA. Um, I just wish, I just wish we could get the uh, the NOAA watch feature to, uh, to to work and figure out how it works. I've tried going through the settings on the radio. If you turn NOAA on, it just turns it on on the radio. It doesn't tell you if it's in watch mode. So... Um, this does have a standard K-type uh, plug for a speaker mic. 
and most of these are just a little rubbery flap but this particular radio has a hinge um, which I think is cool but I don't think it's going to take much to break that hinge off um, you know you can tell it seals up real good right there um, it, it's not a bad radio it's not a bad radio and, and like I said we'll get the range test done let's take a look at the uh, power output Oh, oh, before I forget, the chargers. Uh, I got them all tangled up over here. My apologies. So it does come with a charging cradle. These do not have any USB-C type charger on the back of the radio. It has to go on the cradle. But the cradles are USB. So uh, easy, to, easy to charge in your car if needed. If they would just throw a, a USB plug, USB-C plug on this, God, it would make it so much better. So much better. So let's test it out. So these are advertised at 5 watts. I got this one already set up. I took the antenna off with the, the Allen wrench. And, and these antennas are not long. Um, and they're thick, but they're still bendy, right? I, I, I like them. I... I I don't have an issue with them at all. Um, all right, advertised at five watts. We're watching the middle set of numbers. We are on a high power channel. And here we go. So we are at five watts as advertised and maybe a little bit over. That might be five and a half watts. Excellent. Let's go down to a low power FRS channel. And we are getting almost one watt on low power. So this is one of the very few radios that is kicking out what it's advertised. I think the only other radio that I've tested that's kicking out what is advertised was the BTEC GMRS Pro. Uh, that one, and uh, you know what? That one's actually a little bit over. I think that one might be kicking, advertised five, kicking six and a half or seven. You can go back and watch the video. Um, but all in all, I really like this radio. Let's go do some range testing and then we'll wrap this up. See you in a bit. All right, here at Texas Aircraft in the big city of Hondo, Got the red of us. We're about 15 miles away from the machine currently. I got Bill waiting to do a range test. Once again, stock antenna. We know it's kicking five watts, so let's give it a try. WRJC 281 to WRTH 378. Radio check. Perfect, perfect. We're about 15 miles away uh, at the Hondo Airport right in front of Texas Aircraft. So we know we got trees and hills and everything in the 15 miles that's between us. So uh, am I, uh, you're coming through clear on this end as well. Very, very happy with it. I appreciate you, buddy. Not a problem. I, I hear the wind Yeah, we got that uh, moisture pumping in from the south. That's probably what's going to bring us some storms later tonight. Uh, they're calling for some bad weather. So, all right. I appreciate you once again, WRJC 281. I'll be clear for now. And we're about WRJ 378. I'll be clear and monitoring. All right. So, there you go. This is kind of our standard testing spot 15 miles away. We got terrain between us, trees. I'll kind of show you back behind me. It looks it looks flat here, but between us we have quite a few hills. I can show you on the map. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with uh, with this radio. Let's go back and wrap this up. So all in all, what do I think about the Redivus RB17? I can't even remember. RB17P. I like it. I like it for forty bucks a radio. The power it's putting out, simple to use, a few of the little quirks can be looked past, right? Um, this antenna, probably one of the better ones that I've seen. Display is easy to use. 
if you can figure out or watch a YouTube video, I'm sure there's one out there, how to set the NOAA watch. It's for 40 bucks, you can't beat it. Um, let me know what you think. If you own one of these and, uh, uh, you know, have it, you like it, you hate it, tell me why. Uh, I'm curious. Um, I, I would recommend this, though. Um, it's rugged, right? I mean, this is, it, it has some weight to it. It feels good. Looks good, right? With the display. Let's see, did I give you a close-up of the display? There you go. There's the display. When you turn the NOAA on, Saturday, you get the little Sunday. cloud there. Turn it right off. I recommend this. If you're looking for a simple radio, easy to use, um, go for it. You will have to take off all the, 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 the tones when you get it in. Um, but if you live in the local area and need help, you know I'm always here and I can bring my laptop to you. I hope this helps everybody. If you're looking to buy a GMRS radio, uh, consider this one, especially for the price. Like I said, I'm always looking to review stuff that's pretty much in, in the budget of the average, average Joe. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being part of this channel. And I hope you all have a great day. See you on the next one. We got a new radio coming in uh, via Amazon later today. I'll tell you all about it on the next video. Y'all take it easy. Thanks for everything. Bye.